Welcome to the final round of the Wyndham Championship, where you never know what will take place. Let's go back to just a few minutes ago. Taylor Moore, who has missed the cut in five of his last six starts, trying to build some momentum for the FedEx Cup playoffs. And he closes out his week by jarring his second from the fairway at the 18th. Buckle up. Today could very well be playing his second from 198. This is par five. Huge tee shot down there. Whole location all the way in the back right corner. Oh, this is pretty good. You think? An albatross. How cool is that? That mound will actually push it back slightly to the right, I believe, as it loses speed. Distance control wasn't great at the previous hole. Let's see if he can make the adjustment here. Oh, oh, he, oh. Has. he has, he has, he has, he has. Oh, the cap is off. We're at minus 10. How ridiculous. You have to be very aggressive with this just to get it out. Are oh, you is kidding that me? Any good. What that is shot. fantastic, Jim Gallagher. What I liked about that, he didn't stand over it and start thinking about it. He reacted to the shot. Let's see if this frees him up if he makes this one. He does. All right. That's what he needed. Great save there. Pretty aggressive play. 16. Adam Scott. Trying to make that late push. Didn't make that birdie at 15, but. He makes up for it at 16, so he's still alive. Now at 11 under par, two holes remaining. Probably needs to birdie both of them. All right, Adam Scott now. Can he go to the well one more time? This is a tricky read coming down the slope. And they must. Did he? Did he get the right speed? Yes, he sneaks it on the left side. He's making a rally. Let's head to the fourth. Yeah, and been on. Pitching wedge from 125. Flighting it in there nice and low. Good looking golf shot. Yeah, missed the two divots. See if he can spin it towards the hole. He does just that. What a beautiful shot in there for Ben On. Love the way he flighted that one, Jim. Absolutely. He loved that. I knew you'd love that kind of shot. Oh, yes. We might just keep the train rolling. Yeah, we, we're just obviously good luck charms for this 16th hole. Yeah, he's got it perfectly positioned in the left hand side of the fairway. Got a great angle. That was a pitching wedge from 142 for Lucas. Good looking shot releases nicely to the hole. Does he have a chance to make it? Did he make it? Wow, what a shot. Seventy five yards farther down the fairway has been on after that huge drive. Oh, that was nifty off into the grand lie. Makes up for the misfire back on six. He is a very, very good chipper. To eight and just inside twelve feet for Russell. First birdie of the day, yes, sir. Like Justin Thomas here at 12. And Justin Thomas, after that came all the way back off the front. Oh, he's trying to get this back. Oh, yeah. Ramp in order. Oh, yeah. You called it, Trevor. That's what I thought he would do. How about going in? Gosh, that was good. Brilliant play. Six holes to go. At least two birdies, probably. Now for Glover, he's first to go. 85 yards, Dotty. Easiest putt would be if it's short and to the right of the hole, up the draw. Ah, well called, Dotty. Absolutely ideal. About eight feet, and he's played very well since. It's been very good since the end of June. In fact, he calls it his weapon. We talk all the time about how good he is tee to green and how strong he is. Downhill, sliding right. It's quick. It's really good, too. Too tight at the top now. Frank Olpar's early. He has lit it up over the last 30 minutes or so. Absolutely. Tom has been on some great bags over the years. 
Nine iron for Lucas, but not a big one. Go through it. Trying Go to catch that ridge up the middle of the green. Getting a piece of it. Here we go. Exactly what he was trying to do. He just needed maybe a yard more of carry, and that was next to the cup. Like the last hole that he can go ahead and hit. I like the feel of this. And so does he. Lucas Glover ties Russell Henley now. Just seven holes to play here at the Wyndham Championship. To make the playoffs for Eagle. Keep going. Hello, Memphis. Wow, look at that. Let me not get too far ahead. <laughs> but you make an eagle and you move up one notch. This is 17. Yeah, drove it wildly left, hacked it out here to the right, and relying on that short. He's been all over this golf course, and that has been the trouble throughout the year. 14. Down the hill now for Arn, inside 20 feet. After pitching wedge. It's a birdie for Arn. Just two back now at 18 under. Wow, how's that bounce back off to the mistake at 12? A moment ago, 34 yards, one of the great short game players in the world. You think he knew it? Oh, oh you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> you absolutely have to be kidding me. How dare that do that? As for par, T2, seven feet, four inches. Dead center. One ninety seven, a little bit of a flyer lie right at it to start. Good shot. Oh, Billy, there you go. Not a single birdie all day long for Billy Horschel. Shot as good as his attitude all day. There you go. Made a flood of birdies the last two days. 62-63. Only one today, and it came at the final hole. Sit down. There it goes. Right back toward the hole. That's a winning shot right there. Go ahead and make it. Turn, turn, turn. That's what he does. The man from Greenville is a winner in Greensboro. Thanks for watching the PJ Tour on YouTube. To watch another video, click here.